Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my tutorial serials. So, we are inside in Unreal Engine 4 and we are almost finished with our first game. Um, I don't know, maybe all my serials will help you and you like me without any so good and professional experience in Unreal Engine 4 now create some very simple project for yourself, maybe for your family, for your friends, or maybe for some business directly to Play Market or iOS. Okay, uh, so like I promised you, today we are continuous to create some additional options with secret level. So I have these uh, boards and I like to put these boards inside in my game. Uh, for this reason, I like to spawn these boards. We are going for blueprints as, as you remember, before spawning any object, we are create some actor. So for our board, we also create some actor, secret board. But inside we have nothing. Only one sprite and this sprite is empty. So for secret code, I will show you one more options how you can do it. It's also interesting and it's also working. So we are going to spawn and inside in the spawn, we are create one variable. So name of this variable will be boards, boards, something like that. So what kind of this variable? We are going for variable type and change it for sprite. Change it for paper sprite, paper sprite reference, something like that. After that, inside in these boards, I like to put many different sprites. And like before, we are changing the sprite from single to array. Something like this. Compile. Don't forget to make these options safe on compile always. It means when we are compile, we are safe it automatically. And now we can add many our boards. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boards. Ah, yeah, and zero, of course, and zero. So I start from zero, it will be zero. I am going and put a board or how, how I call it, just a moment, I, I not remember. Now we will check. Should be somewhere. Ah, come on, I have to add to sprites. I forget to add to sprites. So save compile, going back, going to my textures, uh, take Z, right click, going to sprite and make extract sprite. Yeah, something like that. So we have it, um, extract mode after, viewport, doesn't matter, everything. Yeah, something like this. Yes, 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 do it, do it. Okay, very nice. So this is empty sprite. We are delete this empty sprite. We are delete and all my sprites. I'm going to filter. I'm going to paper 2D and sprites. All my sprites. Ah, yeah, you see also delete. Yeah, how many sprites? I have 11 sprites, 10 numbers and one last board. So I take all of them and put inside in the sprite folder like a move, something like this. So now I no need any more this filter. I'm going to sprite folder and I have this board inside. So going inside and check, as you can see my pivot point in the middle. So I have to go to this bottom pivot mode and put it bottom center, something like this, save, close and do it for all of them. So select all of them, right click, uh, edit and going like this, center bottom, save, close, as you know, if you know how to apply this for everything by one click or by just maybe two clicks, uh, send me some comment, help me, contact me. It, it will be really nice for my experience because I found only this way. So I go in one by one, save, close, one by one, save, close. And sometimes it's taking really very long time, especially when you have a many different sprites which you have to put inside in flipbook. So uh, we are just finish these options, this action, and I think 
and I think that's all. So we are put it inside. So now inside in the board array, inside in our spawn actor, we can put this board. So first will be zero. Yeah. Then will be one. Then will be two, three, four. In some of my previous tutorials, I hope you remember how to create like these boards inside in Cinema 4D. So I think inside Cinema 4D, a little bit more professional than inside an Unreal Engine. But I need just a time, you know, I like to take a self-education. Maybe in future I will work somewhere in, I don't know, in some Ubisoft studio somewhere else. So it's, it is a joke. Okay, we are created. After that, I create one more variable and I call this variable last board something like that. So going inside and it also will be paper sprite, but it will be single. So I'm going here and change for single variable, something like this. So inside this variable, compile, save, I put only last board, this one, where is now you can enter secret code, something like this, blah, blah, blah. So I have it. What else? I have to create one more variable and this variable will be integer so i am going to variables create and i call it like a index only index something like this and change this for integer yeah just give me to sync yes to integer so i just need to receive only number zero one something like this yes in beginning this index will be zero so and now i try to try to explain you for what I needed. So I am going somewhere down and I create a new event. So custom, custom event. It will be spawn secret board, something like this. We can call it something like this. So we will do like before. We are going here, spawn actor spawn where is this spawn actor from class take it we have this actor from class that's just a moment now we are choosing this class to secret board something like that what we are doing now and now as you remember, inside my secret board, we have sprite. So I open the secret board and just a moment. Yeah, here inside secret board, I have the sprite. So I like to take this sprite. I take this and put set sprite, set sprite for board. You remember I have that board here, set sprite. So I have this board here. Mm, come on, something like that, yeah? I have this board here, but I haven't any target. So where is this target? Target will be from this actor. So I just make something like that. Very good. Now I take this target and now you see this target. Now I have to change this target for new sprite. And where is I can take this new sprite? I take this sprite from this board. So I just take this board and as you remember, this is array. So I cannot put inside. So I get, I have to use a get, something like this. And this get I can put inside. So by this function, by this get function, I take from this sprite any number. So uh, for example, if this, if here I put three, I take zero, one, two, three. I take this number three. If I put something six, will be six. If I put zero, will be zero. Something like this. So now I have apply here some index, but this index I like to take according to my game instance, according to my secret code. So and how to do it? How to make this connection? Uh, why? Why here? Why I have a problem? Ah, okay, because I have to promote to split and put somewhere here, maybe maybe something like a 800 
Okay, save again. Yeah, now it's correct. So, uh, I'm going like before. You remember in my last tutorial, get game instance. Get game instance. Take it. From game instance, I make a cast to my instance actor. Also, I make it pure to avoid any additional options. After that, I take secret code, get secret code, you see. And then from this secret code, I get, 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 get a copy. I think get a copy, not reference, get a copy. I get index, something like this. So every time when I call this board, I call next index. I hope for a moment you are understood what is going on. So if not, I will exp explain one more time, little bit later. Just for a moment, follow for this tutorial and we will see. So, okay. Uh, what we are doing next? When first time I take this code from index, I set this code again and put index plus one okay so i take one time second time third time fourth time and all time i take this infor information so inside in this array i already have all boards which is already prepared step by step it is already everything inside in this variable array everything inside and now i just like to take this number one by one so maybe I will show you on some pane to understood what is going on. For example, I have this big array, something like this, something big array. Yeah, I mean this array secret code. So inside in this big array, I have like a variables. For example, eight, nine, doesn't matter, one, doesn't matter. So these numbers and like this, I have up to 12 times, up to final, any numbers, I don't know, seven, doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. So total will be 12 numbers inside in this array. And these numbers already recorded because as you remember, my game instance started in beginning. So, and by this index, by this index, I take this number one by one. So. Uh, this uh, first it's zero, yeah, this index zero. Yeah, because as you can see in Unreal Engine, everything started not from one, two, three, started zero, one, two, three. So in beginning, this is zero. So I take like index, something like that. Yes, doesn't matter. In present moment, I have zero. It's mean I took eight. If I took eight, uh, if I take eight, yeah, here my sprite will be eight, will be this. And after that, I make plus index plus one and set again. So when I next time call this event, my index will be already not zero, not zero anymore because I already make plus one. My index will be one. It's mean I took this number and going here and my board will be with number nine. For example, next time again, plus one and my index will be two. I took next, yeah, this, because this is zero, this is one, this is two, I took this. And by this index, my board will be one, yeah, because this already write it here. Now I hope you understood what is going on. So I didn't save. I tried to explain you maximum what I can do. And after that, when we are set the sprite, we have to add to the sprite like a add project movement component. Like before we are disable a gravity uh, target, which target we are use. We are use same target like it's here, just a moment. I just connect something like that, make something like this, make it more beautiful, yeah, because we are make 
everything good you never know maybe you will you will make some game together with some your friends or somebody else and if somebody after you open that they have to easily understood what is going on and where is going on also maybe some time is passing and after one week one month one year you are going back to change something to add something or delete something you can easily find and understood everything what is going on i hope i hope it can be like this so and after that we are at some just a moment we are at some velocity yeah velocity Velo. i not remember set set velocity in local space something like this yeah set velocity in local space so we are take it and we are put here so what velocity will be will be i split will be minus 100 come on minus 120 because all my land as you remember where is my land my land moving also with same speed something like that so <coughs> very nice we are needed sorry uh i'm talking too much now i drink a little bit water just a moment okay we can continue so uh but problem is problem is when i can call this event when i can do it i like to call this event from my pawn i am going for my pawn and as you can see because we are give name for everything it's very easy to understood what is going on so i am going here and here is update game speed so every time when we are update game speed we are call this event uh what we will do somewhere yes yeah, spawn actor so i have spawn actor it will be very simple i take the spawn actor uh, if you don't know how to do it just check my uh some tutorial previous tutorial you will found it yes and we are doing spawn spawn secret board that's all so we are call it we are put it here that's all we are call already this event uh very simple really very simple no any big problem something like that we are doing really very nice so now only what i like to change i like to change my target to maybe to five and add to my target also five okay F just to check so uh, i'm going back to game and start to play i switch off the music you see it's already working really very nice start to play <coughs> and wait okay uh, looks like when i over jump five drums i will get this sacred board and first board will be with number two then number three then number one we will see if it will be like this or not here we have some information too easy okay five drums over jump and and i cannot see any drum uh, any board 10 drum 10 over jump and again i cannot see nothing and for me for a moment this is really strange and okay you see it is here it is coming but it's behind uh behind a mountain why it's like this we are going for secret board we are going to board and we are going to render options first of all we no need any collision so no need any collision we are going here and our translucency third priority it's zero so we are changed as you remember my bull somewhere uh my bull how much my bull 100 yes so we are put somewhere 91 doesn't matter so it's really doesn't matter just to avoid any cross with other uh other third priority or we can make it 99 doesn't matter so doesn't matter Re really it doesn't matter it should be a little bit less than bull for this reason is going uh, behind our bull so check again play 
you see here we have code will be 0 then 8 8 8 then 6 so and then some other number so our secret code really big but it's it will be really interesting so start over jump we have to wait five drums after five drums i will spawn this object so very soon it should be yeah i have zero but it's really very small yeah we, we will wait a little bit more 10 now will be one more yeah eight next spawn will be in 15 we will wait should be again eight again eight very nice so again eight then six we will see you see our uh, level of the game increasing speed increasing again eight now should be six we will see i hope will be enough stamina six and like this we are going up to end so uh it's very simple but we have one problem we have one problem if we are work uh, if we are playing really long time really long time we have we can make we are going just a moment my pawn yes if we are playing very long time without any problem for example you are really professional you're an amazing player you can call this event one two three five times seven times ten times 15 20 and like this you can call many many times but problem is that i have only 12 numbers so my secret code should be only from 12 numbers so how to make how to finish call this event in next time we are going to spawn and before this spawn actor we are doing some branch if we are make some if so what we will put inside in this if I take this index yeah because every time when i spawn this index coming plus one plus two plus three something like this and if my index less less than 12 my branch will work will be true if it will be more than tw uh, more than 12 12 or more is going to false option so like this it's mean from 0 to 11 i have 12 numbers like this i didn't call anymore but what we will do if we are reach all 12 numbers we have to make some announcement to player uh, to inform that that finish finish collect numbers you have to enter secret code for this reason oh sorry yeah sorry for that i i had a call uh yeah a little bit forget about what we are talking we are create um yeah we are going for our spawn object just a moment mm. spawn 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 okay and like this we are we are make only 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 12 calls and after that we are going to fail and now we have to inform uh, the players that we have to call last board so we are make one more event we are make a spawn last board something like that enter ah no 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 custom event first of all create custom event and then spawn last board yeah okay we will do like this so when we are going to fails i just call this spawn last board just something like this that's all i no need nothing more i spawn this board so and what we will do with this board is it's very simple so we are create we are spawn um, spawn actor spawn actor from class we are take again this board secret board from secret board we are take what we are take first of all i like to change this board 
Mm-hmm. Give me to sync, give me to sync. Yeah, we are set a sprite. I make like this. I make like this and I set a sprite. Set sprite. Set sprite for board. I set the sprite. But before sprite, I like to increase a size. So I take what I will do. I going to secret board and I check. First of all, I like to little bit increase. Maybe it will be 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 in the beginning. My board will be little bit bigger uh, to more visual checking. Mm, no, for a moment, no. Uh, I'm going like this. Just moment, I split, or split one more time. So it will be also 800 somewhere. Maybe 800 is too much. Maybe it will be only 600 and also 600 here. I hope you know already what is going on. Yes, because you already have incredible experience. Mm, I will make like this. Target target will be from this area. But before, before set my sprite, I like to get this big board. Yeah, so how to check it? Yes, uh, I take this index less. Take this three. So it means it will be 0, 1, 2. I take only three boards with number and then will be this big board. Yes, now we are taking this big board. Set new sprite. Which sprite I set? I just take this board, something like this, and what else? And then I will add same same information. I just make a copy and just make a paste. Put it here. So will be with same speed with everything. Just put it somewhere here and put it somewhere here, something like that. So compile, uh, I think everything done. And now we will try to play. So I take just one to three boards with numbers and then will be last the secret boards. So we will see if it's working or not. Start to play, will be three, one, nine, and then last board. We will see, hope it will work. So today looks like my last tutorial and it will be longer than before. Okay, after five drums will be first drum. Yeah, three. You see it's a little bit bigger and we can see it. Three, one, nine and then will be big board with last information. Okay, I get one more board. Okay, one. You see it's very nice because Drums is hide it and is give me some additional gameplay will be nine and now I will get last board with text Very soon Okay, you see I have this last board with this text and it looks like very big But I like to make it a little bit bigger. So before to set the sprite I'm going to this board and it is inside in transform Transform scale. So I am going to spawn and I put it like a transform set transform or something like that. It should be somewhere. We will see. Set. Set actor relative transform. This set actor relative transform. So we are take it uh, from this target, of course, and relative transform. I am open, split, yeah, this will be like before, yes, yeah, 60, but I increase little bit size, will be not one, or we can do it here, spawn scale, yeah, maybe we don't need it, just a moment, I, I like to check if I change here, for example, for three, just to check if it's working, so, and this index I will reduce for two, only two, just, okay, one, maybe will be more faster. So will be only one number and then I will get this information. So I like to see if my board will be bigger. Hope yes. So I have now to wait five drums. You see every time when I come in inside in the game, I have a uh, random music and it's, it's really very nice. Okay, I have two. And now will be big board and I think this will be really huge size. One more jump. 
Yo, yes, look at this, it's incredible size. So I going and reduce the size. Uh, where is this? It's somewhere here, three, is, it's really too much. So I make it two, something like that and play again. Now we will see, maybe now will be better. Just a moment. I go into this and make it zero. So I am going directly to the spawn, play. I am going directly to the spawn. After five drums, I will get it. Oh, you see new music coming. It's really nice. And you see all time we have the secret code during one, during one minute, because our the spring string, as you remember. Now you can enter secret code. No, it's really big. It's really big. So we are make it 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Uh, I check one more time, sorry for that, but I like to set up a proper size because these small things I didn't prepare in advance. So now we are going to complete and something what I can see I, I will add. So sorry for that, but I think it also can be good for your experience. Yeah, so now it's good. Now I like this size and it's good. I'm going back and I change here for 12. So I take this 12, this everything done, everything done, everything done. Maybe I just make something like that. Just make it a little bit closer. Okay, and what I will do, I select everything, make it C and put it mm, spawn number boards something like that okay and here i will make again c and i make a spawn last in for board something like this okay very nice so looks like very nice and we are looks like we are complete our game like i told you if you like to create uh some secret level you are just going your self training. You are going for start from uh, Cinema 4D and any any program what you like. You are going to texture. You are create some textures for a new level, something like that. You are set it for sprite. You are going to blueprint, and you have to create only uh, only actors for level. So create new level and like this. And after that, going to widgets main screen uh select this yeah graph and here you see where is we have the secret music you are just lot secret level and it will be really really incredible and uh my dear friends if you are finished this tutorials together with me and you are create some your games and make some secret levels uh, share with me it will be really very nice feedback for me so i check your maybe some screenshot something like this is it will be really very nice and i will understood that you like my tutorials and really my tutorials is useful so and now just i tell you a few words um, about what you can do with this game later first of all yes yeah, this game's already possible to play but it's possible to play inside in a uh, start game yeah but if you are don't like to play here i'm just save everything yes uh, you can go inside in the folder where is this game we are going to disk d we are going to unreal engine 4 tutorials we are open that now we are check what full size of our project as you can see it's 400 megabytes but don't forget yes we are create game for android but this is full project including everything when we are compile and when we are package for android it will be less than 100 i think maybe somewhere 70 megabytes i will show you it now just during few minutes uh, so you're going inside and you have this tutorial game a project something like this so just make right click and launch game that's all now coming like this screen and you can play in this game on windows so as you can see everything working 
everything really very nice you haven't ah you have print string so now we will delete this print string just reminding me so we can play this game on your window uh, without any unreal engine maybe your children you see it's everything big very bright and really very nice and i hope your family your friends will like it for sure uh, so we are going out quite the game yes exit so i just changed something few things uh, i'm going to widget i'm going to main screen graph and where is this print string yeah this print string i just delete i no need it i no need this information and this remove this pin so something like this very good and one more one more it is not inside here it is will be inside in game interface game interface so i am going to this button exit button and as you can see when it's present i make also for image so i check it and i change for image like this will be more interesting more beautiful so without any rounds uh okay again save and uh, how to launch this game for your device for android or ios for this you have to check uh Maybe in future I will do some tutorial about that, but for sure not in this series, for sure. But just few things. First of all, you have to install some Android, some Android or iOS special program, yes, for compiling. After that, you have go to settings, project settings and, okay, packaging, yes. You have to set up everything according to your package. So I do not make it during these tutorials. You see, my project not under platform. So I have to configure this. I have to accept lessons I already accepted, yes. I have to do some many different options and all these options you can find on official Unreal Engine site. Uh, what to do how to apply everything how to make a packaging yes what to how to work with blueprints as you can see my blueprints not nativization haven't any nativization so i can do it i can make inclusive something like that and after that i am going for any blueprint select this blueprint for example my pound go inside go class settings and i can put nativizate something like this but for a moment i do not make it uh just to avoid any your any taking of your time anyway if you like to receive this information how to package this game for android i can do it only for android because i haven't at my home any ios device i have only androids i can do it for you if you like if this video will take uh, i don't know we can tell 500 likes if this video will take 500 likes uh, i will do this tutorial especially how to package for android how to put this uh, game on play market how to optimize this game everything yes but for a moment this game full completed for windows full completed for windows and one more yes inside in window we have developer tools and we have device profile here we have many many different devices and depends which system you like to use in future maybe you like to use i don't know macintosh iphone android some kind of android with tegra with intel with andreo you see uh it's not possible to make everything in one tutorial because we have really very very many many different uh platforms whereas we can put it yes uh, for this reason, just put me comment what you like to see. For example, I can show you some things for Android. You are open Android, you are going to this small screen. And as you remember, we are use world texture. We are going here and we are just reduce the size. We don't need 4K. I can make it like something like this and my game will work more faster during packaging. Uh, so if I'm going, for example, here, I'm going to project settings and 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 just a moment I think it is it is here yes packaging so here 
something like this or like this everything you can read inside in inside in any forms in uh, Facebook Unreal Engine folder inside in official uh, Unreal Engine site or just like this video send me some comments and I will do a very big tutorial and very nice tutorial about packaging of this game and in present moment thank you very much for watching for losing your time for my old videos uh, but finally I think we have received a very nice product um, full ready product to games to uh, play market to everything and uh, if you are enjoy don't forget to check all of my other videos Subscribe, share to your friends and goodbye. Thank you very much for watching.